Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is uh, for July, okay? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. So we had four cards that fell out. First card is October. So October is prominent. Something may have happened last October or, or in a previous October, or you could be dealing with somebody that is born in October or something is going to uh, happen in this October. But October is very prominent to whatever is going on during this time. Man, dealings or relationship with a man has to do with a man. Peacock, beware of great pride. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So we have something that is coming to an end. Has something to do with a man. October is very prominent. Let's see, what else do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? Now keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Cancer? Any time in July. Some of you could be dealing with Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. You're going to be dealing, um, you will be attending a get-together very, very soon. What do we have for cancer? Ooh, spiritual connection. So you have a deep spiritual connection here with somebody. I think that you're going to be connecting with somebody on a spiritual level uh, very, very deeply by the looks of things. What do we have for cancer? Someone is going out of your life. I don't know, maybe it has to do with the Pisces, right? Could also have to do with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the King of Coins. This is uh, somebody that is very business oriented, may have a lot of money, a hard worker. Um, you may see an increase in money during this time. There is some th sort of, well, there is an increase of money here, hard work paying off. But this, this I don't know if somebody is giving you something may have something to do with a father figure, doesn't have to be, um, but I feel like you are about to reap some sort of rewards as well for your hard work. Some of you, um, I mean, the king of coins is stable, solid, secure, hardworking, business oriented, could be a businessman or a business woman, it really could be. This is reaping some sort of rewards, an increase of abundance. You are going to be seeing some sort of increase. I don't know, some of you may be getting an inheritance. I just put this right next to the, to the casket, so I'm not sure what is going on, but I do feel like um, you're ending something and you're going to be reaping some sort of reward. You could also be deepening a connection with somebody or somebody, I wonder if somebody is, somebody is ending something to connect with somebody that they have a strong connection with, however that resonates with you. We have Pisces, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here so far. We also have Libra, um, we also have Libra. We have somebody here that has a big ego as well with that peacock card. We, so, you know, I'm not sure what is going on, but 
There's a need to curb the the ego, be be humble. What do we have for cancer? Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is a partnership, a union. We do have two people that have a lot in common that are going to be deepening a bond. Before that deepening of a bond is the Ten of Swords, which is suffering painful betrayal. We have a painful betrayal here. There's been some, some sort of petty argument or petty situation where there's been somebody was playing games they were we have a player here the five of wands is a player somebody was playing they were playing the field they were playing games they caused somebody a lot of pain because they were wanting attention they were wanting to uh be the center of attention by the looks of things we definitely have a player here this is the end of the game game over okay that right there is game over. We do have a partnership here. So that we could have a partnership that is ending. I just got to be honest. This is underneath the casket. So there's something that is ending. This is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. There has, right now, you may be feeling some pain. Or you're dealing with somebody that is in pain. There's pettiness here definitely pettiness um petty behavior struggling you know uh struggling for some reason petty behavior hangman you some of you are definitely dealing with the pisces or libra justice two of wands in the future page of swords reversed King of Swords, underneath that Justice card, and the Knight of Swords reversed. Um, we have the High Priestess reversed on the bottom. That is lack of awareness. Somebody is not aware. They're not very awakened. They're not very spiritual. They've been listening to some bad advice. They have been get it, getting bad advice from somebody and listening to it or not listening to their own gut, needing to listen to their own gut. We have somebody here that is really struggling. They are struggling with uh, their pride by the looks of things. We have the five of wands next to the hangman. Okay, there's prideful, ego. We have somebody here that is really, really in their ego. They want to prove a point. They've been trying to prove a point, so they may have engaged with some sort of competition. You know, this is a martyr. Um, this person is uh, angry. They are upset. They... Uh, Childish behavior. We have some childish behavior here in the past by an individual who wanted to prove a point, so they probably engaged in some games, you know? Petty behavior, childish behavior. Um, I do feel like that's in the past, though. I feel like we have somebody here that was struggling, struggling with their pride, struggling with their ego, um, trying to prove something, overstepping their boundaries, um, trying to, uh, it feels like almost win at all costs. This is, was this highly competitive individual um, wanting to prove a point. So somebody was, and I think, I think I really feel like you're dealing with a Pisces, you know? Um, so I feel like you, there's going to be an unexpected conflict. If there hasn't been already, there is going to be an unexpected conflict with an individual that is very egotistical. This person has difficulty communicating. They have a hard time communicating because they like to um, be right. This person always, always wants to be right. So you're dealing with, with somebody that is probably angry that they've that they've lost you or something like that their but their ego is too big their ego is too big for them to take action at least that how is how it's been in the past um petty petty childish behavior um i feel like uh you may receive some information that you don't want to hear about this person or this person has really kept you on your toes or they really hurt you in some way 
by trying to prove something, you know, prove a point to you and maybe even to others, you know, prove that they're, that they didn't make a mistake or something like that. You're dealing with somebody who, who plays a lot of mind games. This person is somebody that, uh, is in their ego. So you're definitely dealing with an egotistical individual. Right now, I feel like there's some suffering going on. You're de maybe this person that we're talking about has received some sort of karma. You're dealing, because the middle card is justice, which is a card of karma. It's a card of balance and um, bringing balance to a situation. It's the truth coming out. Above the justice card is the ten of swords, which is painful. It is, it's, it's, it's hurting. And then we have, we, so we have the Ten of Swords, the Justice card, and the King of Swords challenging information. We ha I feel like you got somebody here that is about to receive some sort of truth or they're receiving some karma. It's the harsh truth. I wonder, somebody is suffering. They're in a lot of pain. Um, they're receiving the karma that they deserve. They're receiving some sort of... I don't know, whoever we're talking about has been betrayed. They have, they've been hurt really, really badly. Justice is a card of doing the right thing, acting with integrity, everything turning out as it should. Somebody is getting some karma. There's justice here, there's law. This Maybe the law is getting involved. We ha could have somebody here that is uh, being taken down. There is somebody here that may have broken the law you know, trying to prove a point. There's punishment here, trying to punish another person. Hey man, it's about punishment, right? It is. Somebody is getting some karma. And, there, and you know, when you get the justice card, there's two sides to every situation. You know, there's a plaintiff and a defendant, right? There's two sides. There's always a winner and a loser, always. King of Swords is challenging information, doing the right thing, next to the justice, everything turning out as it should. There is a fair and just decision that is being made. This is the end of a painful situation with the with the Ten of Swords up there. This is this is it. This is over. This is it. This is over. The end. The end. The end of this these games. This is it's it is because the, the five of wands is before the ten of swords this is the end it's the end of this this struggle it's the end of game over like i said game over your point it's you wanted to prove a point game over making a fair and just decision so there is, and I'm not sure if the law is stepping in or if karma is stuffing, stepping in. This is the end of a painful situation. If you have been betrayed, if you have been left for dead, it's almost like being left for dead, it is, or been played. This has been played, definitely the first card is that it's been played. You're about to receive something better because of that two of cups, which is in the future. So that is a partnership that is very, very compatible. That is love. It is unity. It is... Uh, and then we got the Two of Cups with the Two of Wands. So we have two twos about soulmates, partnerships, unions, choices, changes, faith and trust, stepping into unknown territory with this Two of Wands, leaving the past behind. You have a new opportunity here. You're at that crossroads, focusing on the future, focusing on a new partnership. Uh, the Knight of Swords reversed as though underneath that is extremely sudden extremely sudden comes out of nowhere something is happening it's happening very very suddenly there 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 may be a need to just go slow don't rush don't be in a hurry
you you may have received some bad news or you got yourself into a situation with somebody that was very childish and immature that was a player that's where you were at but i feel like you're about to get what you deserve you're about to get the get the unity or the partnership or the love or whatever it is that you deserve because that justice card is about deserving okay this is somebody getting what they deserve but there's pain involved with that Ten of Swords. It's the end of suffering, though. You're somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. They're about to get the justice they deserve. There's going to be a fair and just decision that is made that gives you, exact, whether it's good or bad, there's always two sides. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. And there's a union here. And, and, and I don't know what the union is, but there is definitely a compatible union in the future. Stepping into unknown territory, being at that crossroads, making a decision. You're probably going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision. Definitely decision is here quite a bit. You're going to have to make a decision. You know, somebody may be getting a proposal. You know, maybe it has to do with moving. There is some punishment here as well. Just got to say, somebody is being punished for hurting another person, for betraying another person. And that could just be karma. There's a need to let go. There's a need to let go of ego and pride. And go in another direction, whether it's you or somebody else. The Two of Wands is about going in a new direction. There's new opportunities ahead if you can focus on the future. So you need to focus on the future. There's a need to act with integrity and be honest with yourself. The very middle card is the justice card. You know, you have to make a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. You can't live in illusion. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves needlessly, wasting time playing games with a player. Hangman hey underneath the five of wands. Why play games with a player that doesn't, that isn't honest, that doesn't tell the truth, that is not your friend? We have the page of wands in reverse. That's an enemy disguised, a page of wands, page of swords in reverse. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. I do believe that you, you definitely have somebody here that is not your friend. Be prepared for some sort of fight, okay? The first card out is the Five of Wands. It is a fight or it is a competition. This hurts, okay? You could get in a, somebody may get in a fight with an individual that just wants to prove a point. You know, the law gets called in and somebody ends up in jail. I hate to say that, but when I see all swords standing up like this, that reminds me of bars, There's, there's, we have somebody here that is untrustworthy that, you know, leads others into danger. You know, with the Knight of Swords reversed, that is a dangerous situation. There could be a shock here. You know, somebody may get shocked. You know, they may get the shock of a lifetime. I feel like you need to be prepared for some unexpected conflict this month with somebody. I don't know if it's somebody from your past. Whoever it is, it's, some, it's a man. You need to be. You need to be prepared for some unexpected conflict. I. I would say so. The Page of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords reversed. Get prepared for some unexpected conflict. Their law could get called. You know, the, the police. Somebody could end up in court. fighting, trying to prove a point is going to get somebody in trouble. It's going to get somebody hurt, but it could. But we do have the end of suffering. We have a fair and just decision that is being made by somebody that is very, very intelligent. Could be a, I don't know if it's a judge. It doesn't have to be a judge, but this is somebody that is extremely intelligent that is making a fair and just decision based on the facts, based on the truth. 
I feel like there's some lies here. We have a liar. We have somebody here that doesn't tell the truth that has been uh, causing problems. This person is, maybe they're getting caught. There could be a tattletale here that is telling on somebody. You know, they're they're telling all the secrets. You know, they're they're revealing some information and get somebody. I don't know. I want to say put in jail. I don't know why I want to say that. I feel like somebody has been hiding something. They have been lying. There's court here, lying. You know. The lying comes from the Knight of Swords reversed and the eight in the Page of Swords reversed. There's a liar here that has been withholding information. They're about to get caught because there's a very wise, wise, wise individual here that can see right through. They can see right through the lies, can see right through the truth. There's some sort of truth that is going to get, uh, that is coming out. And I feel like we have somebody here that, uh, is going to be moving in a new direction. Tower. Massive disruption. Things this is forced change that forces you to start over from scratch. Somebody's gonna be look at that. I mean that's unbelievable right there. Somebody is about to be forced to start on a new path. This is starting over from scratch. This is a false sense of security. Somebody has been definitely lying. This is a shock. It is a surprise. This is a massive change that leads somebody down a new path. Okay, there's moving as well. And I think, I, I don't know if I said it, but I felt it. Moving, moving away, moving home, starting over, leaving everything behind, going down a new path which leads you down the path to a partnership that you are compatible with it's a perfect match. There's choosing choices here, choosing your next step. I feel like you're, you're, this is actually exciting with the fool. This is starting over from scratch, building a new foundation someplace else. There's going to be a massive disruption, a dismantling of a false partnership that somebody has been in. That tower is next to the Two of Cups. I was clarifying the Two of Cups. We have somebody here that has been focusing on a partnership that is not compatible. They have something better. That's why the tower is here to force change. So there is going to be a moment of disruption that forces somebody to see the light. And start over someplace else. So this is this is starting over from scratch. Somebody is leaving your life because it's false. It's a false sense of security. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. There's lies. And there's a lot of lies. Somebody has been hiding something. And the truth is about to be revealed. And this is a major shake up. This is a new start, a fresh start, starting over, new beginning. This is the beginning of a new journey where perhaps you're free. You're free to do whatever you want. This is freedom. Freedom from suffering. Because of the Ten of Swords that is suffering. There is a betrayal here. Somebody is doing something. I feel like they've, they've done something against the law. The law steps in and takes over. And the law could be karma. Everything is going to turn out as it should. There's a fair and just decision that is being made. Somebody has done something that is, that is, uh, 
not legit. You know, they've done something bad. They have. This is an enemy. This is a liar. This is somebody that has done something and they're dealing with somebody that can see right through the truth and the truth is about to come out and it's going to cause a major disruption and a move. Traveling in a new direction. You're forced to go. Forced. There's, there's no other way. You, you have to. Somebody's been hanging on to a false partnership. It's almost like they're forced to leave it behind. There's, there's, there's no, you can't, you can't fix it. It's, you have to go. You don't, you know, you don't, you can't fix it. You have to rebuild someplace else. It's not fixable. Someone going out of your life or the end of a false sense of security. This is the end of a situation, but that casket is right under, above the tower. So the tower is a massive disruption. This is a shock. I also feel like you guys are going to receive an opportunity that absolutely shocks you. Okay, this could be your new spiritual connection. We definitely have a new beginning here, but there's a lot of falseness. It's like, no, I'm going to hang on to the false sense of security because we have the hangman here. That's hanging on. I'm going to hang on to the false sense of security because, you know, I'm feeling a void or I just want to live in uh, fantasy land. This is definitely a wake-up call. It is a rude awakening. Somebody is going to get some information that absolutely shocks them about a partnership that forces them to change, forces them out. This is universal force. The tower is universal force. Forced to face the music, forced to face the truth. Starting over from scratch, starting a new journey, dropping dropping the baggage, leaving it behind. You can't take it with you. Starting over from scratch, you're going to be building a new foundation someplace else. Because where you've been, there's been falseness. There's been lies. And things are about to get shaken up. And someone is leaving your life. And you are headed towards something more stable, more solid, more abundant. Good luck.